just two days away from the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. One of the most popular sports you see during the Winter Games is curling, something you can do right here in Olympic City, USA. And only on News 5, Shayla Gerard is live at the Broadmoor World Arena this morning with more on how we can all get on the ice, Shayla. That's right, Brian Ira. Now, curling is the fastest growing uh, winter sport here in the U.S. And I'm here with Paula, who's part of the Broadmoor Curling Club. All right, first off, walk me through this. I'm going to be learning this a little bit today. Uh, it is a new sport to a lot of people. How does it all work? Okay, so curling is a sport in which a participant slides a 42-pound granite stone down the ice towards a target area, which looks like a bullseye, which we call the house. Uh, it consists, um, it is usually described compared to shuffleboard, but we, we describe it like it's chess because of strategy, it's pool because you can bump stones off of one another, and it's a little bit of housework because of sweeping. So you have teams of two teams of four players that slide stones, as I said, down the ice. The object is to score the highest points, and the way you score is the stones resting closest to the center of the house which is called the button, at the conclusion of each end, one team scores. So um, let me sort of describe to you right now some of the pieces that go along with curling. Perfect. We have a lot of those elements out here, so right. walk me through them all. So this is what we call a curling stone. As I said, it is 42 pounds. You do not lift it. You just slide it across um, the ice. Underneath it is what we call a hack. It sort of looks like a starting block and you move forward in it and release. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. This is a delivery device. You will be using this, so that'll help you keep balance. And then this is what we call a slider. And what is on the bottom of this is a Teflon covering. It's very, very, very slippery. So when you stand on it, that is what you will slide with. So that, that gives you the motion towards the other end of the ice. Okay, and anyone can get involved. If someone wanted to join and try curling, how do they start? So, yes, anyone can get involved. So we are having three Learn to Curls this month, one at 8 o'clock on the 9th of February and at 5.30 on the 11th and the 25th of February. You can register at coloradocurling.org. Anyone can curl and learn to curl from ages 8 to 80 to include adaptive curlers if they choose, which mostly is wheelchair curlers. Um, and you can, uh, it costs of $30 for individuals. There's different costs for families, um, couples, and military. So you can register, you come out, we uh, go through what curling is, and then we bring you out on the ice and teach you how to curl like we're going to do shortly. Sweet, well, sounds like a plan. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and I will be learning to curl, putting all of these elements to use a little bit later in the show. You're not going to want to miss it. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs. This is Shayla Gerard in News 5. Shayla, I think you just answered my question, but have you given this a try yet? All right, so you're going to show us coming up, but are, are you a little nervous? I am a little nervous. No, I have not given it a try. This will, this will be the very first time, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm in my curling gear, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Shayla.